Hi, I'm Doris from Ponder, and today I'll be showing you how you can get started with using Ponder in just a few easy steps. So the first step here is to go to this website, app.ponder.io slash sign up. And here I've already entered in my basic information and email. So I'm just going to click the sign up button here. So the next step here is we want to get Ponder installed on our machine. Uh, and in order to do that, uh, what we have to do is open up an, our terminal and type in this command, uh, pip install ponder. And so once I type in pip install ponder, what it's essentially doing is ponder is distributed it as a library. And so you would install it just like how you would do, um, uh, how you would install any other Python libraries. Um, and so once um, this shows that it's been successfully installed, the next step here, um, I'm just going to click on the next screen is is I'm going to do ponder login. Um, and if I do ponder login, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to ask me to enter in uh, my product key. And you can find your product key un either under your account settings, or you can copy and paste it on, on the uh, onboarding screen. And I've entered it in and it says my login was successful. So awesome, You're, you've been able to install ponder uh, and it set it up on your machine. So what's next? So the next step here is we want to be able to connect to our database. So I have all my data stored in Snowflake and um, I want to be able to use Ponder on the data that's stored in Snowflake. So I can click on this button and essentially what it would show is a set of commands that I can use to connect, uh, to create a Snowflake connector uh, and, and use Ponder with Snowflake. So now I'm going to open up my IDE. Um, here I'm opening up Jupyter, it's my favorite IDE, but you can very easily as well use any other editor uh, dev environment that you're familiar with, with Ponder. And so in order to use Ponder, all you have to do is do uh, import Ponder uh, and ponder.init. Um, and then the next step here is what is essentially using the Snowflake Python connector to create um, uh, a connections object. So snowflake underscore con is the snowflake connections object that we will then use um, to establish a connection to snowflake. So after that, all we have to do is import modin.pandas as PD. Um, and then everything from here on looks and feels uh, just like working with pandas. So first of all, uh, what we're doing here is we have a table called ponder underscore books. This is our books table uh, that is living in Snowflake. And we're using the connections object that we created earlier um, as an input to uh, pd.readsql. Now note here that if you did this in pandas, what it would actually do is it would go to the ponder books table, fetch all of your data and try to bring it in memory so that you can process it in memory. But instead of doing that with Ponder, what we're doing is simply establishing a, a connection between Ponder and Snowflake so that any subsequent command that we're doing, for example, print my data frame or df.describe, all of that is operating on the data uh, that's living in Snowflake. So none of that is being processed in memory. Uh, we can We actually take your pandas queries and translate it down to SQL so that it can be executed on Snowflake. Just to show you that this is actually happening in real time, I'm going to pull up my Snowflake uh, UI and here you could see all of the queries that Ponder has automatically generated. Now in particular, what I wanna do here is I wanna take a look at the query that corresponds to the df.describe that I just performed. So I click on this latest query um, and I pull it up, you could see that this is a ginormous query. It has over 200 lines of code doing things like computing the max, min, percentiles, and so on. All of this uh, is this entire SQL query is automatically generated for you so that all you have to worry about is writing the single line of pandas um, and, and all the uh, statistics and results um, is computed for you and, and, and generated. And so you can see that with the pandas API, it's a much more easier way of working with the data that's in your warehouse. Now I can also do very common data science tasks such as uh, z-score normalization, um, printing the head, unique, um, as well as things like um, get dummies, which is 
essentially a one-hot encoding on my categorical variable. Um, I could also do filter and so on. And so we can see that with this very simple example, um, we've been able to install and set up Ponder as well as connecting it to Snowflake so that we can run all of our pandas queries and workflows on Snowflake directly.